And we're back at it with Bone Grinder. We're a little bit over the halfway point, I think. Or we will be after this video, for sure. We're going to focus on this platform that exists between Area 1 and Area 2. Let's take an overhead look at it real quick. And you'll see that it's broken up quite a bit here. I'm not going to do it exactly like this, but you'll see it's about uh, 5 feet in uh, length coming out from the, the uh, windmill. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm just sort of eyeballing the size of the first piece of the platform that I'm going to put into place. And um, I'm just doing this as a, making it up as I go along. Because I like doing that sometimes. And I know I'm going to have like the boards for the platform itself and then the support structure for it, which is gonna be made up of a couple boards that you're gonna glue the uh, planks onto. And then a little support structure that's going to come out at about a 45 degree angle from the uh, stone on the windmill up to the outside of the platform. And that's what I'm doing there with these two pieces. So I'm actually doing two at a time of the support structures for two separate uh, sections of the platform. So I thought what I might do is maybe cut out a little bit of the side wall here so it will uh, allow me to anchor the platform a little better at the back end into the foam. So I score it making sure it's about the width of the, uh, the support board there and then I just use my little molding tool for clay to cut out a chunk of that sidewall. With that done, it's just a simple matter of going through and uh, gluing these platform pieces on to the support board. And I just use a 16th inch square dowel for the under part of the support board and uh, some of this gel like uh, super glue to the, do the gluing part. Now it's time for sandwiches. Back at it. And here what here's what we have here. We're gonna do a little bit of painting. I started out with um, a light brown. And after I did the light brown, I was like, eh, not sure I like the light brown. And I think I went back over it with an espresso brown. Yep, there I am with the espresso brown. I cover a little bit of a darker brown. I wanted it to be dark because, you know, it's a witch's windmill. Going to cover all of these little support structures. And after they dry, I take some tacky glue and glue them into place. Now, this is that uh, support structure I was talking about where we get that 45 degree angle board coming out. And both of those are uh, that 16th inch dowel. Actually, it might be an eighth inch dial. Give me a second. Let me go look at that. Yeah, it's, a, it's an eighth inch dial. At least that's what it looks like on the uh, ruler. So these boards here are ones that um, I went ahead and engraved like some uh, texture into them, for the wood, and then uh, painted them up with the espresso brown. And then I'm just using the grid here to cut them out at that one inch grid size. So the length of them is one inch. And these are little coffee stirs or you can use those uh, skinny sticks that you buy at craft stores. And then to give it a little bit more character, I go ahead and cut out chunks of it. Give it that ragged look on the end that it's weathered and broken away over time. Gouge out a little bit of the sides. Want imperfect boards that have just weathered over the years. And then there we are with our dowel again, creating that support structure underneath that I'll glue to to keep everything together. Back to my super glue. And a little dab of glue. A little dab on that side and just glue them into place. Um, you know, after your first couple, this goes pretty quickly, actually. 
I ran out of time this week because I wanted to do the Windows 2, but I only really got around to the platform. But the platform took a little bit longer than I expected. In part because I was making it up as I go along. And uh, also it was just a busy week, so I didn't quite get to the Windows. I'm going to try to get those done along with the roof this next week. And here I am just giving a little bit of texture, putting those wood textures in there and then painting over the top. So I did this two ways. I put the texture on these uh, little stirs first and then I painted over them and that did okay. And then I wanted to try painting them first and then putting the texture in it and that worked pretty good too. I have a theory here. I'm going to give it a go since this is an experimental piece. I'm going to paint these brown first then put the texture on them. Um, so that's going to leave a little bit of wood showing like the the unpainted wood underneath as you'll see here and then I think at the end I'm going to do a black wash and we'll see how that works out I'm not sure so we'll see worst case scenario I'll just have to go back paint it add another layer of black wash and you know just additional layers if it's not working out pretty good uh, by the end of it here I'm just eyeballing it keeping mainly to that one inch grid put the little support beams you can really see the wood texture there we'll see if it stands out once I put the black wash on which I'll do in another video this is mainly get the structure in place and the basic the base coat of the paint down Now this is the second one, and it's about the same size as the first one. Here I am giving a little bit more of that uh, texture to the that wood texture to each of the planks before I cut them into the small individual pieces. And this next piece, I make it a little bit longer, and I have that one side cut at a 45 degree angle so I could butt it up against it so it's nice and close a continuous piece wrapping around the windmill and more of the same after I cut it I go ahead and add some of these accents to it by cutting out the edges and getting that weathered look I think it just adds, adds a little bit more pizzazz to it And actually, you know, I, I started doing more and more of this weathered look, you know, adding a little bit more cutouts to uh, each of the planks. And I thought it looked better than the first couple I did. It's all about experimentation. Here I am taking little chunks out of the side there so that when I put it into place, it's anchored really well. Here's a really long board that I did for the backside. This is going to wrap it around almost all the way to the other side. And I'll have one more piece in for the board. I am cutting it out a little bit more. Cut out of the side there. Have it fit into place. There we go. Well, almost there we go. There we go. Did, did we go there? Yep, we went there. A little bit of glue get it into place and then we have this last piece now this last piece when I put it into place I didn't like how that support board comes down right by the door but I left it and a little bit of glue there and once it's in place I let it dry and then uh, I've got my platform going around the uh, Top of the door. It looks it looks pretty good. There's the door there. And uh, that was it for this week. A, a little short video, but um, it was a lot of fun to do. Hopefully, I'll have more time next week. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. A thumbs down if you didn't. Leave some comments down below if you have questions or comments. And until next week, have fun and keep crafting.